on, buddy. This is John Bane. I want to welcome you to Ark Survival Evolve Genesis. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to remind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens because here we are playing some more ARK. And I'm having a great time. It's actually been really fun. I've really enjoyed recording the episodes. We've been doing an episode a day. It's been a lot of work. And I appreciate you guys that are taking time to watch the videos, hit the like button, leaving comments, all that stuff like that, share it and all that good thing because that does help me a lot. And I really do, really do, really do appreciate it. Um, but we've been doing a lot of stuff last episode. We went and explored the ocean biome. And today, uh, well, but since then, I have been doing some exploring and making some of the decisions. As you can see, I'm wearing fur. I decided that we need to build, start building a real base next this episode. Started at least. And, well, I had two places I wanted to go. Either the lava zone or the arctic zone. And if I wear this in the lava zone, I'll die of heat exhaustion. So I've decided on the arctic zone. Um, I'll probably still build in the lava zone for the streaming uh, world we're doing streaming on. Um, which is separate than this one, um, but I think we're gonna do Arctic. I've been doing uh, to actually unlock the map uh, Pretty much that stuff on the east side there that east area is brutal. There's like a, a actual snowfall That's thick there. There's UDs. There's a bunch of other things I was running around there just trying to unlock the map and see if there's anything cool and there is cool stuff in there But there's no way in hell I'm gonna build there at least this season um, Died a few times too. Don't tell anybody though. Died a couple times uh, But you can see what the pin says maybe and I think that maybe is gonna be a yes And I will show you the maybe spot. We'll go to the baby right there right now Let's go like this and let's do the last room of location because that's where I last was at. It's pretty cool, huh? As we teleport And we teleport there we go. And it is bright. Oh my god, it's bright. Uh, I might have to turn on the bloom if we're going to live here, actually. It's kind of really... Oh, hello! Thank you. Thank you for my hexagons. But as you can see, uh, with the brightness of brutality... Uh, I better turn that bloom off of next time. Um, it is it is a gorgeous spot. And you can we can see the, the fake mountain in the distance because we can't get to that mountain. But there's a real one behind us. And I think it looks good. And it's a nice amount of area. Uh, there's a giga that's here currently, but we're, we're gonna take it over from him. We're just gonna we're gonna have to kick him out. It's just gonna be ours. Um, it was a little bit of hell getting here too. There's a couple different interesting spots nearby, um, and point of interest over on this edge of the cliff here, cliff face. You can't really see it yet, but there's a like a, a bridge that goes over a land bridge. Um, that leads up and goes through. There's a cave below right here. There's a cave right below us as I speak. There's a cave of caves somewhere below us. Hey, look, it's some Ethereum. Um, but yeah, this looks, seems like a good spot. I can't, was able to come up the other side over here. There's a couple uh, skedaddle rocks I was able to jump up. I saw this from the ground. I was like, okay, let's run up there and see what it looks like. I was like, this looks like a good spot. So anyway, um, I've crafted up a couple pieces already. And there's a lot of trees already too. I've crafted up a couple pieces already to build with. And we're going to build some more. Uh, we'll get some more stuff crafted up. But we're going to go with a stone and metal build with some wood accents. I haven't done that kind of build for a little while. So I think it'll be fun. Um, and I think it'll be enjoyable and I think it will look aesthetically pleasing to a certain degree So anyway, let me go ahead and get some more pieces together and we will get started with the builder relations You guys hold on All right, welcome back and I think we've got a line set up here That's okay ish and um, I'm gonna use this to start it off and then try to get the height right So it's like right height the sense the height right like right here and I've spent a little time actually lining that line up. It wasn't just that quick. Um, and let's pull this one off. And I want to put in triangles here. By the way, we have a snowball out here in the snowlands with us. This seems kind of fitting. Carrying some of the heavier stuff for us. Because I like to have a little bit of a thing that comes out the, the, the view side of things. We'll put some foundations underneath that to make it look better. We just got to get started up. I'm cold. Did you realize I'm cold? Because I'm cold. Cold on its snake. Look into his eyes. Uh oh. We built a decent line. Yeah, it looks okay. It looks all right. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good for a start. And it's just a little bit of a, of a difference in the just the direction it's facing and stuff. I I think that went down on the ground. We'll let it go. We'll let it slide for now. Not there. What are you doing? That is not. That's the. That's not the correct home either. Okay, there we go. Actually, though, I need to get up here and not fall off and place this one here. This one there. And do we need another one in here? I 
I think we're okay. All right, let's get back around. That's a bit of a clincher right there, buddy. <laughs> Especially since we're not messing around with no dang flyers, man. That's that ain't no joke. All right, so that ain't no joke. Yeah, great English. All right, so let's put these in for now. And again, we're just trying to get a feel for things. Get it kind of going. Okay, we still have 19 left. Can I move with you yet? Oh, we can do this. I believe in you, Snowball. I believe in you. Get up there. Oh, you're trying so hard. I believe in you. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. It's a little bit further and we'll turn you. Oh, good job. Good job. Cookies. All right. Okay, cool. So um, let's go over this way. And this is going to be the main room area of craftulizations and whatnot, I think, for now. And then we can go from there. I kind of like that. Now, I did bring make some more stuff, and I did bring some more stuff. So let's put these away for now. And if those of you familiar with me and know what I like to do with some of the builderizations, will know exactly what I'm about to do right now with what you saw in its inventory. And actually, I forgot. I, I bound the gamma. I think that's enough. I probably wish I had it up higher once I do the editing. I like how it shows the missionary when I try to build, too. We'll do this one like this for now. And we'll change these to half walls. Half walls all the way. There's that. And then we got to grab some... I made some glass walls. And we're going to grab... Can I carry all of them? Not a problem. Not a problem! All right, we're going to do this. And this row for sure is going to be facing like this. Because I hate having... Like, glad I don't know. How's that going to mess with the view? I normally do this. I might do that on the sides then, because I'm thinking now, with this, this is kind of like the view sh shot, the money shot type view shot type thing. How does this look with the glass there? Yeah, because then you can look down. That I might just do this then. But for the rest of it, I'll do the half walls, because I kind of want it to be a nice picturesque section and three walls high area. Yeah, I actually like that. So with this, we're going to put the model gun out. And how do we have our space? And there's three, two, and three. So this is a split. Let's try this then with... Well, since we have eight... I don't want to lie in the middle. Maybe we could do something a little bit different. So let's do corner B. That means it's not that one. This one here would be corner A. No, corner D then. Corner C then. Right, right, right. And then that's corner D. And then that's corner A. And then this one has one side. D. Does that make you one side A? Or C. It's C. It's C. It usually does that. So you were A. So we can take you and copy you. That means you're one side B. Copy you. And then get rid of these guys in the middle. And then do these like corners here. So we can do that one and that one. Take this off of there. Put that one there. Put this one here and here grab this one put that one there and there grab this one put this one here oops i messed up already but it's fine because we just grab that one again and place you right there so then we have this in and then i want to throw some pillars in to kind of give it a little border yeah i think this is the better way to go with this so we can see very nicely out into the areas and maybe the sides can have these four like support looking areas and then take you to three sides a and three sides B, and it is cold as hail outside. It's all right, it's all right. We'll have air conditioners in the cold. And do the same thing over here. And then pull you out here. Set, copy, set, bam. So those are in, and then we'll need to put pillars to kind of clean those corners. And then working off of this, we can bring the main body of the build back some, and then build auxiliary sides off. Um, lately I've been playing around with like, like singular house areas, like, do I want to put glass there? That might be kind of cool to mix it up. Singular glass areas, like, uh, rooms and whatnot, like, uh, different buildings within the builds. Um, but I think with this one, we're going to do a more of a larger build with a couple smaller things in it too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and get to see if I got enough to make some more glass, get some more stone stuff together, put some pillars in. Maybe you try to work in some wood parts. I don't know just yet, but give me a little bit and we will be right back.
All right, welcome back without Bloom. <laughs> um, I've done some work, as you can see. We've finished off the glass walls, and I put pillars up, and they do run down. I had to put uh, ceilings out and make it snap the corner, run it down to the ground, pull the ceiling out, blah, blah, blah. I put a row of ceilings, uh, walls across the top and raised this up a half wall, so it kind of, like, lines up a little bit. And I do like how it breaks it up some. It looks, it looks kind of nice. It looks kind of nice, I would have to say. That, there's a line there. But I don't think there's anything I can do about that the way it is because it's perfectly snapped to the foundation. So I think that's just a yeah, there it is there too. Okay. It is what it is kind of a situation, but I do like the glass up here. Now back here we have an issue. Um, it doesn't go up high enough and I don't want this up any higher. So I think we're going to use this as an opportunity um, to do maybe like a transition on heights or something. Let's just grab a couple right now and like maybe put these guys here. And have them be like stairs and whatnot. So this way they look a little bit um, like it's supposed to be like that. There's a tad bit right there, but I think that's that's like doable. And then in the center here, maybe we could have this go to another section in the back. And then this can lead up to the sides or something like that. I did make a doorway here and it could lead into this. And I'm tempted on turning this into maybe a, a greenhouse or multiple amounts of greenhouses since it ends over there. Um, maybe we could just go ahead and exp oops, not like that expand this too I, I did make a few extra stuffs how far out can you go before i, I, I want I, this has been doing this a lot here i probably want to do like triangles on the end of this to kind of at least break up the design some uh, yeah and then maybe throw triangles and that's a four by four right now my weight looks okay-ish do I have them? I have them on me already. Okay, and you have one more. So we'll just grab the one more. And you have a little bit there of the square foundations. But, like, bring this over here. And maybe we could do a walkway. That's not right. <laughs> maybe we could do a walkway around it. My lord. The, 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 the one thing with me is the seeing through the light here. This light's kind of, kind of wonky here. And uh, maybe we can make, like, two rooms or something like that. Oops, that was kind of weird. Uh, maybe make two rooms here. Mm, or one. I don't know. I don't mind continuing back with this. I almost feel like this should transition with the triangles on this side, too. Let's try that out. Let's pull up this. And this. And I'll probably be encumbered here in a second. No, not yet. No, we're still okay. We're okay. Okay, okay. We're good to go. Maybe we can come off the triangles instead have that cohesive look to it and like that's too far so we'll come back this one and that one and then do this that's gonna have to be like that anyway and how are we looking over here so if I want one more out we would not be able to make that look exactly right either Okay, and this is how many now? That would give us a row three. What we could do... I want to go for some aesthetics in this. I don't want just form. Uh, I don't want it just function. I want some form to it. So it looks nice, too. Like, on top of, like... It'd be like, look like a great place I'd want to stay at, kind of. If I was in Ark, and this is the only materials I had to live with. And there was nothing else already built that I could purchase, you know? I, w I would prefer, like, something, like... With some aesthetics going on with it. So let's... let's God dang it. So let's try this out. You know what we could do is sometimes I do a drop floor, but I don't. I think the snow would come through. Let's try this out. Let me see if I can do this or not. It might not happen. We might be able to make it happen. It might not happen. We'll try this out, and then we'll finish off this room so I at least have a place to like lock down and, and consider home because I don't need any wild like beasts coming in here and like, hey, hey, this is a nice place you had, you know, kind of a thing. Uh, we might need. Let's well, see, so you had the walls too. Let's see here. Well, we do have a gap over here. So what if I pulled this guy here, here, and then here, and then maybe another one out? Yeah, there's enough space there for that. So I should be able to work off of you. Let's grab the other wall, and maybe we can make this happen here, like... Is that the right way? I think it is. Pick up you. And this is S+, so we can kind of get away with some things. 
and then then you go here for the half wall bring you over and then the foundations could snap to you and let's see how this looks oh it covers it it's actually it's actually short enough or tall enough, whatever you know what i mean this would at least offer some sort of diversity in our our height in this build too does it go up at all? We actually don't go up any higher over here. This might work out. So, oops, that's that. This is the thing we got to deal with the rest of the build, though, here. Can I get you to go up at least? Okay, can you go below it? Okay, we'll worry about that in a second. Let's bring this out a little bit. Oh, that's it. That's all I've got. Um, and then what we can do, let's grab another. Do I have any more? I don't have any more triangles with you. But I do have a couple of slopes here, and you have some foundations too, so we have some square stuff to work with. But then with this, maybe we can put like a stairwell down here and make a walk path, a path here to walk through, and then have this portion be our actual garden. Have a maybe even have raised gardens or something like that um, along the sides. I don't know. I kind of like how this is forming. If we even use this for a greenhouse now, it might be cool for like like maybe a hatchery um kind of style type of thing that might actually be the thing to do too now that i think about it hmm all right let's continue with this over here and then that would go up this could lead back we could use a low gate on this it's three wide which would look pretty nice there this is on this side maybe we can go and just bring it up now and have like an upper wing already and how's the ceiling look lined up with you I love S plus. <laughs> I love S plus. It's amazing. Um, and then we can put cover that up, obviously, with stuff. Um, this side here, we'll go ahead and stack it again. And maybe that could end up being a thing. And then this is over here. And I wasn't sure exactly what we could do over here. Maybe we could just make a nice outcropping or something like that. Nice little little viewing area. I'm not sure just yet. And then this, whoa, almost fell off there. Let's go and grab the rest of our foundations here. And this is kind of like helping me decide on what we're going to do up front. Like I, I, I'm a field builder. I don't just, I just kind of feel it out as I go. And as it, as it starts to form, it like tells me what it wants to be. And I just try to listen to it. Actually, that can be a ceiling one. I just try to listen to it and then make it happen. You know what I mean? And like sometimes it doesn't talk as much to me until I get more like different parts of it done. Oops, that's not good. Oh my god. Just do it. Thank you. Until I get different parts of it done. And then it's like, oh, okay, so this part needs to be like this now. And that that's the kind of the building I do, I guess. Let's go to bring you back another one, too. Maybe we can make it just uh, different sections of areas. Like, uh, maybe some crafting tables can go up here. I want to put my terminal, um, my, my soul terminal, right, like, right in the middle somewhere. That looks pretty cool looking out the window. Um... And I really like the idea of it turning and going somewhere. Maybe it can go up because we have the elevators too. We can make a second floor that sits back from it. That would be kind of cool. Put some bedrooms up top. I don't know. We got it coming together. Let me go ahead and fill around with this a little bit more because I don't want to just be stuck on this one spot for the episode. Let me go ahead and fiddle around some more and I'll be right back. So you guys hold on. All right. Welcome back. And we have work done and we're getting more work done actually. Um, as you can see, I can't move because I've gathered to grab too much crap. So let's do this. Can I move now? There we go. And so I decided to put a pillar line up here on both sides and put windows on the sides. I put that low gate in the back with, I had to put ceilings across just to get it in there for now. Um, it looks okay though. This is going to connect to other parts, but for now I'm having a door in there, but I like how it adds like an archway. I really like the set for just the added, uh, visuals that it gives to a build it's a little bit of variation than just standard issue stuff and it's big enough to get a good amount of the mid to small size dinos through now i have an idea for the front i think i'm gonna try this out here is that right that is right let's try that out hey don't be quiet be quiet don't say anything this is arc you know arc exactly oh okay maybe something like that and then um Perhaps we can do like something here and then take you, bring you up. Okay, uh, do I have any ramps on me? I know, but I have some though, so we'll grab those right quick from Snowball. 
There we go. Maybe four of them. Just so I got something to work with here. So I can reach where I need to go. Like this. Jump up there. Jump up there. There we go. Okay, and then we can put this up here, maybe. And then have that. And then maybe here is where we can bring this down. Like this. To do a transition over. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So let's bring this guy out. Because what I want to do is connect ramps to this. Alright, so I need to put out my own little scaffolding to reach the, that height up there with these. Let's grab this. Let's get up here. Let's get up here. There we go. Alright, and then grab this and go up here. And the way the reason why I want to do this is like I can run a ramps don't like to snap up. And I like ramps, oh, but it likes to snap down from the ceiling. I like ramps better because of the angle that they do, and they don't do an overlap on the exterior. The overlaps on the regular uh, roofs look really messy to me, and I don't care for that. I'd rather have it look like kind of snazzy, jazzy, you know what I'm saying, nice and clean, especially with the build we're doing, because we're doing a real build. It's not like a partial build, it's a real build. We're just really, oh, I gotta do this first before it'll snap. Now it should snap without a problem. There we go, and we're getting the ins inside the house buff too, which is really nice. Now here, um, maybe we can do a transition with an inverted slope or something, or, or we could bring a wall down across the whole front, but that would look kind of lame. Because I want to have the square in the back too for a second level. Let's slide over here so we can look at it a little better. Let's go outside and look at it. Actually, I should be able to walk through that. And that, oops, I missed a, I missed a pillar there. We'll get those. Um, maybe we'll bring that that ramp back one more and try that out. That actually looks like a better transition to me. Now, can I come off of you with the wall? I can't, but we can finagle something real quick. And if you snap below a wall, it'll have the same height. If you snap above it, it adds an actual little smidge, which is great for doing offsets. But we're not trying to have an offset offset here. We're trying to make it look right. And it did the it actually didn't do it right this time. Oh, holy crap! Did it snap to the wrong thing? I don't know. We can just build up from the bottom and do this. Usually that works. This is Ark, isn't it? Or did something weird? Nope, that looks good. And we will take out you because it's S plus and we'll have, maybe we can use the, um, actually that's what we'll do. I think the Dino Gate mod has a small one too. Let's go check it right quick. Let's go right here. Let's press this button. Let's go like this. Let's go back. Let's do this last remote location because it's inside my laboratory. Temporary laboratory. Thumbs up for temporary laboratories. Teleportation. Nice. All right, so let's go over here. Isn't there a small one? Oh, yeah, I have the guy actually structures stone. There's a small stone and this is a small behemoth. Let's do two of these. And I just, well, we'll do it for the, the we'll do the gates too. But I mainly just want it for the, um, the, the actual doorways to give a nice little, like, transition on the tops of it, not just the wall hanging there. Which is, again, this is why I like the set so much. Because it allows us to do different things. You can also put them around uh, the glass to give it like window frames, like large window frames. Just a whole bunch of different things that is available with the ways of things that we can do things that are available. You know what I'm saying? And teleporting back. Teleporting back. All right, cool. I'm excited. Let's do this. So uh, let me remove these guys right quick. There we go, and then take you, and see how that does that, and it adds a little bit of character here too. I don't like how it's sticking through that pillar, but once we get the walls up, it's not going to matter. What I like is this transition right below it. It gives it a nice, like, break in it. Give me something to break. Now, how did you snap? You actually don't look as bad. Did you come through this side? Did not cut like that let's check you and cut like that as well it's just how it's working maybe it's because of this one here maybe it snapped on the other side let's remove you and see all 
Okay, now it's gonna do the thing. Usually when you do V mode though, it'll 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 switch it up for you. It doesn't want to go anything low, lower than that, okay, or higher than that. Okay, so we do need to put that one back and it'll snap to that. We'll make it work. Like I said, we'll have the walls come up and it'll do its thing. Yeah, I don't mind. That works for me. And then these don't, the unfortunate thing about these again is that they, well, not again, but they do not want to snap um, on top of these gates. Watch that, it'll do it. It does it now. Really? They never like to snap on top of the gates. Now they do it? Are you serious? I'm starving. Starving! All right, let's do this then. I want to make sure it lines up with the other walls and not the gate. The gate is fine the way it is. It gets, I want it protruding just a little bit. All right, so this is what I've got coming together. This is what I'm going to get put together, and then we'll come back when we got it there. You all hold on. You know... Sometimes views are just amazing. And when you find that spot and you build your base there, begin building it, it's quite gratifying. And I have to say, I really like our view. I am not a big tropical building area type of guy. I'm burnt out on deserts from other games too, but oops, hello. But this is actually a great view. I am really happy that we have it here. And I'm happy with what we finished up with for now. Um... I ended up bringing back the slopes one more and then put these S plus gates over here with the little walls up there to kind of tie it in. And generally, we're getting the inside buff all the way inside without too much of a breakup of anything. So there's a couple spots that I like to give it, not give it, but like right here. It's somewhere right here. Like right here, but I'm still inside. So I must be near something that it doesn't like. Like right here, it does not like the center one, I guess. I have no idea. But we'll, I'll work it out. Mostly, though, like almost everywhere inside of here is good. Now, we're hearing the sound now because of the, the snowstorm and stuff like that. But I still have the full house buff. So that's nice. But yeah, it's I, I closed in the back here for now. I ran out of mats to make any more glass windows and such. So uh, we're kind of screwed there. Oh, how does this look on the outside? I didn't even bother to look at that. That might not be able to work then. Oh, nope. That's going away. Yep. That's going to go away. Well, there goes that. I was all happy with it. Now I'm not. So that's going to all go away. That's just how it goes, though. Sometimes you win some. Sometimes you really don't at all. Let's fix that real quick, and we'll, I'll do the other side after the episode's done. Let's go here. I wish I could see exactly where you want to snap so I knew you were snapping the right spot. Even there you are there. Okay, there you go. Okay, that was that was blindingly bright. There's that. Okay, and then I have one of these. It's probably the wrong one. Yes, it is. Let's put you right here since I'm not doing anything with the model gun. There we go. And then I want to put a pillar on the top of you. And that's just how that's going to work out then. I did like how that looked, but uh, no. If anything, I can eventually come back across and just put those and maybe work something else out. But that, that type of overhang is not going to work. But that is the time we do have today for today. Hopefully you guys still like what you see. I really appreciate all the support of the video. So it's, we plan to do a lot more because uh, I'm having fun with the game. We're getting our real base put together. I like how we have this open floor front, and this is in here. Eventually, we're gonna build something that goes up. Then we'll have something that goes in the back here, and then we got the thing on the side. And this is where it's a burr. And as always, thank you so very much, and you all have a good night.